Hey Cancer, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of July 8th through the 14th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And happy Cancer season. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus placements. Alright, we have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, so maybe you are connecting to a Taurus, maybe you have Taurus placements, but I kind of feel like this week is all about a commitment that you are making or that someone is making to you. I kind of feel like you've been going through a pretty, I don't want to say a rough patch with a person, but it feels like you and somebody that you're very close to have had your ups and downs, but I feel like right now you're feeling very hopeful about this connection. Um, there's a lot of growth happening. Maybe you or the person that you're connecting to um, has had, you know, a recent kind of like awakening or revelation about, you know, their their lives or, you know, the relationship. And I kind of feel like with the star, something is being illuminated to the point where even though there have been those ups and downs, um, you're finding the the good in the in this situation. You're finding the the silver lining. And I feel like the five of pentacles could represent the fact that from every um, you know, difficult situation, there's always a moment of growth. There's always a learning experience, some sort of a lesson. I feel like right now with the King of uh, King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, you and someone are connecting on a very deep level um, to the point where maybe even thoughts about the future are becoming easier. I kind of feel like with the Hierophant, this is a card of higher level, you know, thinking, feeling, commitment, um, it's wisdom, it's legacy, it's, you know, it's serious it's not casual um it's not a, an energy that likes to play games i feel like a lot of you are really just trying to focus on that next step um and i feel like because of the situation that you went through how you handled it there's a lot of confidence about this connection and where it could go so let's just go ahead and clarify the star Queen of Wands, maybe you're connecting to a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I kind of feel like with the Queen of Wands, there could be even a sense of, you know, really getting clear on how it is that you want to move forward with your own personal um, goals. I kind of feel like career-wise, you're making a very important decision or you recently um, have decided to pursue something that makes you very happy and excited for the future. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Four of Cups and the Ace of Swords. For some of you, that Four of Cups could be that you're still trying to figure this out. You're still working out the plan, but you know exactly what it is that you want and how you're going to get there. But I feel like with the Ace of Swords, maybe this clarity that you're receiving this week is helping you um, kind of work through whatever it is that has you overthinking um, or in that contemplation mode. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the Five of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. So a lot of divine feminine energy coming through. Yeah, I kind of feel like for some of you, this is about something that has to do with relationship plus the career and work kind of aspect or maybe just the finances. We have Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. So for some of you, I kind of feel like as a new relationship is forming or as your relationship is getting stronger, you could be also trying to work through a new opportunity that could bring in um, some more abundance. I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, you may have had to um, make some changes in the recent past on your finances or your budget or um, there's something that, you know, you have been trying to be very stable about or very serious about. Um, but it kind of feels like maybe there's even a union that's helping to make this easier. Maybe you and your and someone else that you're connecting to are working together to lessen the burden of the finances or the burden of whatever it is that right now has you feeling a little bit, you know, with that lack mentality. Let's clarify the King of Wands. And the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it just kind of feels like you're finally getting that sense of a support system. I feel like you're finally seeing that someone cares, that someone is trying. Maybe they weren't trying in the past. Maybe they were just kind of like aloof and not really caring about what was going on or how you felt about it. But I kind of feel like right now there is this sense of teamwork right behind the Knight of Cups is the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like this week you're going to see that someone cares, that they're really trying 
um, to make it easier for you, Cancer. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Cups. So definitely has to do with something, again, related to relationships, maybe even someone that you have children with, or maybe this is about the fact, you know, that you are taking care of multiple people, or you have um, a strong bond that you, you know, are concerned about. I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, this could confirm a new job opportunity, something related to the opening of an op of and maybe an offer, maybe a job opening, you know, that you have been looking at that finally you're getting, you know, that call back, you're finally getting an interview. It's like something is happening here um, that is making you feel really good about the future. And then that eight of swords is the energy you're walking out of. It's like, this is where you were at before you were getting news of this offer, before you were getting, you know, that, that light at the end of the tunnel, you were feeling very stuck, very hopeless. But I feel like at the same time, you're also getting that support system. So Slowly but surely, Cancer, I feel like you're coming out of a dark night of the soul and really just starting to breathe a little bit and, again, feel hopeful about the future, genuinely. So, really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.